This Let's Play was made possible by these generous patrons. And we are back. To fight for our lives. Well, our little shapey lives. Oop, 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 oop. So this oop, must be oop, when it gets oop, start getting oop, really hard. Oop, like the first part was probably like a tutorial mm, section, essentially. Maybe. Which we died at. Oh, bud. Oh, bud. Is oh. every level now him destroying the world Stop and us trying skewering stuff? Skewering things. I can't even fit out like high pitch words. <laughs> when I skewer, it's like, oh, no. Skewer. Skewer. No. I really am so today. <laughs> So it's playing this game, guys. Is I don't even have to try to get that voice. Oh, it's, just, it's just there. Oh, bud, that's just, not good. You just turned the triangles no. evil. Oh, oh, like the screen shifted up. Oh, it did. The triangles it just looked my like friend. it. I, I saved them when I fought through the Colosseum ah! fools. I managed to show that stupid Hollow Knight what's one for. W one for. Everything is one for what for. So who, when, does why. A when and why to everything. Oh, he doesn't really understand All right. shapes. Stop eating that! That's my cereal, you son of a bitch! <laughs> That's my triangle's family! Mike was asking, give that ship. No, you only have one eye. <laughs> That's not possible. Oh no! Help! Oh, help! 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 Get your deaf punk to episode 9 bullshit out of here. Episode 9? I don't know, 9. That. Ugh. I tried to save you, but you were kind of like out in the damage that area. Bad movie that had 9 characters that were sacks. What? And. Oh, the oh, nine. oh! I know what you're talking about. And uh, you look like a I think it's just, just number that. nine. I also saw that copyright thing. You can't steal the Mario sound effect in the pipe. Did they have it? Yeah. It was, I don't think it, it was. That was just that right there. Come on. I don't think it was, buddy. I think it was. Oh, bud. Oh, bud. That was oh, bud. Just a mushroom sound effect. Oof. You cheating bastards. This is fun. I like this. Ah. Take your Cuber Pac-Man bullshit and get out of here. Oh, I don't know how to handle this. You look like a bad 90s logo <laughs> for a skateboard company. No, that'd be an awesome skateboard company. <laughs> Dude, I would I would actually learn to skateboard if they... No, I wouldn't. So doesn't like anything <laughs> but himself. He only likes him. Oh, bud. I uh, I tried to learn how to skateboard. It didn't work. <clears throat> no. Apparently, my brother's gotten better at skateboarding. No. No. He was lied to and said like, oh yeah, it's a 15 minute walk. It's like a 30 minute walk. So like, you know what, I'm gonna get a short board. So he finally learned how to skateboard. I was like, good for you, man. What the fuck was that? Live in our dream that I was never able to do because I'm too afraid of falling. I I own a skateboard. It's actually in the garage above the garage door oh, yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the one with, uh, I drew Faye on uh, the bottom. Yeah. I didn't draw, draw her. I took an image and then drew it onto the thing. You traced it. No, I didn't. I mean, oh. it's on the back of the board. I actually drew it, but I mean, like, I didn't, like, come up with it in my own brain. Oh, okay. You know? I thought you might so have So, technically, it. to me, that's not me drawing. Yeah. Well, do we want to go to the right? That's I the mean, way he was going, right? It's drawing. Some artists are only good at copying, like, all those photorealistic artists. I wasn't even good at copying. I just copied. <laughs> Whee! I'm just saying, in general, some artists are just only good at copying. Like, they don't have any... Their imagination doesn't really allow them to mm -hmm. do, like, super imaginative stuff. And they're amazing copyists, but when it comes to, like their own creative work, that still that'd be an artist, right? It's still an artist. No, like no. a cover band is still a band. This is fucking Super Metroid. Is this? It is totally Super Metroid. I don't. I don't. Uh, how? How so? Boom. It's literally the music from Super Metroid. That can't be right. No, it it fucking is. That can't be right. That is the intro to Super Metroid. It's probably gonna change now. But it's a remix. Now it's different. But that beginning is... You're going to have to show me. You're, you'll listen and you'll be like, that's fucking... Metroid. I never played Metroid, so... Uh, any of the Metroids, so... If Couchlings requested, I would love to play Super Metroid. <laughs> that would, uh... I've, I've watch never... them get you, like, that that Metroid one without Samus in it at all. What uh, is it? Like, the Metroid the four-player one? or <laughs> Yeah, Federation Force or whatever it is. I'd play that. I never <laughs> the one that it. people hated or whatever. I heard it was an okay game. It just it wasn't a Metroid game, so people were like, the fuck, Nintendo? Because <laughs> that came out at a time when there was no Metroid game on the horizon. They hadn't announced four. They hadn't done Samus Returns for the 3DS. Mm -hmm. So people were just like, the fuck? Why is Metroid always so secretive? Just tell us the new game is being produced. That's right. Didn't they? they wasn't that a big deal? Like, uh, oops. Oh, boy. I, not, I, the... I understand why Nintendo doesn't, because they have so many projects that they just scrap. They're kind of like Valve, but actually make games. Um, <laughs> Nintendo will Burn. go with a game like really far Take and then decide game. like it's not good and then just, they'll just fucking scrap it. 
I mean, that makes sense. That high high standard, like, like they have high quality standard for certain series. Like, let's not yeah. give them. Let, not, not all of. I'm not like yeah. on their dick. No, I'm just. I'm saying, just like, saying like I can see why they're they they want to. <coughs> fuck! I tried to get to you in time for their main franchises. Yeah, they like when it comes to Link. And despite what people say, Skyward Sword is a good game. Go fuck yourself if you think it's not. Too much water. Um. Most of the time, like, they will just, they'll hold on to games that they don't think are ready, which I appreciate. I would rather a game come out when it's ready mm -hmm. and wait a long time than get a subpar product. That makes sense. I mean, that makes a lot of sense, because they, they have, like, a quality to have to uphold. Yeah. You know? So these guys are just, we just jump inside of them and then dash to the next one. That's all That's it is. That's why some people, I think, were upset with Metroid 2, because Metroid Other M wasn't that great. Like, yeah. It wasn't even the gameplay. The gameplay wasn't that bad. It was the story decisions. They made Samus into a very weak, like, damsel in distress. It's like, no, she's your... Isn't there something like, uh, like, she keeps calling the Metroid a baby? Her baby or something like that? She keeps calling her a baby and she, like, won't... She doesn't, like, break command. And she's always just, no, I'm gonna listen to my Admiral because he's Admiral Adam and he knows what's best. It's like, fuck, you're Samus Aran. You're the most badass Nintendo character is alive. It, is it Aaron or Aran? I always called it Aran. I think Samus it's Aran. Aaron. I have. I don't. I have no. It, idea. Actually, I think it is Aran. Because it's, it's. Oh crap! I can get hurt out in the overworld. It's A R, A N. Uh -huh. Samus Aaron. I always say Samus Aaron, but it's probably not because I'm pronouncing. I, I think no with idea. an I. It's probably Aran. What is this? Cascade. Oh, these are individual levels. Nice. Let's do Termination Shock. Sure. Start off that. Saber but yeah, pulse. regardless, Samus is like your coolest, most confident character, and mm -hmm. they turned her into like a weak. That, I could see how a that weak, would be like. Like a weakling, like a weak character. Like the characterization was just so bad. I can see how that would be. You're going to get out of that. There you yeah, go. Team Ninja, the guys who make Dead or Alive, it's like, God, you guys butchered her character. Well, I mean, and I think Dead that, or Alive, right? Yeah, but even <laughs> Dead or Alive has better storytelling. Like, Does it? Dead or Alive I actually, thought Dead or Alive was... Just boob physics? Like, well, yeah, mostly. Uh... But I, I know that's just a part of it. But I always thought Dead or Alive was mostly just like the video game equivalent of uh, like Fap Simulator 2020. No, no, no. I, I like like Vapid essentially. Like yeah. they didn't really have like Mortal Kombat esque storylines. Oh, and stuff. I, I wouldn't say they have that kind of storyline. But there no, is no, no. there there is a storyline in those characters. I didn't even realize it. I thought it because was like you know the Ninja Gaiden games are connected, right? It's all the same shared universe. What? Yeah, because the Ninja Gaiden characters in Dead or Alive. Oh. Um, Rio Hayabusa's in the God damn games. it. Thank you. Uh, his last name's Hayabusa? Yeah. Hayabusa. Oh, buddy! His sister, Kasumi, like, it's actually got a lore, and, like, it's not bad. I mean, it's not great, but yeah. it's not bad either. You're like, huh. yeah, that's okay. I had no idea. Wait, we st we didn't start at the beginning. Most fighting games have a lore. Um, oh, we have checkpoints, that's why. Oh, that's right. You're right. So we must have just got the checkpoint mm -hmm. right before we, we got... Destroy, <coughs> destroyed. It's funny. My voice is like, no, <coughs> don't say the word. Tunky did a video recently Oof. about Nintendo games and being hard, and uh -huh. it very crystallized exactly my feelings. When people say Nintendo games are hard, it's like, no, Nintendo games played shittily. Like, let's not give they them. They played shittily. Let's not give them credit. Like, they played like garbage for the most part. Those controls. Oh, you're talking about hard games back in the day. I thought yeah. you were talking about now. No, I'm talking like Nintendo stuff, where it's like. You play those old NES games, like, yeah, they're fun, Oof. but they also didn't control very well, and they were made unfairly. They were, yeah, yeah. Donkey's Donkey's recent video regarding the the unfair video games back in the day, like retro games, they were yeah. like, oh, they weren't just harder, they were just Unf not yeah. reasonable. They weren't reasonable for a human being. They were meant to be <clears throat> so punishing that most people can't do it. Yeah, I like when Donkey does those style videos. Yeah, because he's, I mean, he's a smart dude, and he plays so many video games, he does have a decent opinion on... <laughs> All this stuff. The uh, the this level is, is is fucking me a little bit. Oof, because I'm not getting the timing of when these things dash. Because I mean that's honestly the difference Ugh. between. Trying to get you, bud. Sorry. Ah, uh, you should just go for the checkpoint. I didn't even see it. It's all right. Yeah. It's not over. So many like I think the biggest difference between game journalists and just people that talk about games is just how eloquently you talk about it. Honestly. That's literally it. I think that's just the <laughs> difference because I mean. For, like, I respect certain <laughs> game journalists like Jeff Gersman and Brad Shoemaker and people like Patrick Klepek who have been, you know, in the industry for a long time. And, you know, it's their job to talk about video games. They talk about the industry and its uh -huh. like, strengths and weaknesses. Um, but honestly, you look at it, it's like most of them don't have, like, 
oh, they have a college degree. It's like, yeah, in English. Like, who the hell cares? Like, if you a can talk... A college degree in English is for the journalism part. Yeah, Like, exactly. obviously, that doesn't translate directly to games, but that I does like help them with the journalism All that part. really matters when you're talking about games is keep your voice consistent. And what? Like, keep your voice consistent with, like, what you're talking about, like, your opinion on games. Oh, you're, okay, your, your opinion. If, okay, if cool. you have an opinion on this, that's, you know, that's fine. It's your opinion, but make sure it's consistent and don't flip-flop it then. Um, Unless I can have, see how if you have, like, a change of opinion or change something. Change of opinion is different. Like, if you change your opinion, but I mean people that are inconsistent with, like, their voice and, like, what they like and what they don't like and don't chill yourself Oops. out. Um, yeah, definitely don't chill yourself out. And that's how, you know, you'll build an actual audience. So that's why when like when Donkey talks again, he's like, "Yeah, I'm willing to listen to what you have to say. Give me your opinion. I'd like to hear it." <laughs> Confirmation bias, or uh, what is it? Echo chamber, essentially, where you're gonna be like, "Oh yeah, this is this is my thing, and all my people know that I only talk about these games, so I must be right because they all like it." And it's like, now you only expose yourself around those certain types of uh, oh, people. Okay. So I uh, thought you were referring no, to music. Off to, no, I'm okay. saying like off topic. Like that's what I don't like about like certain journalism. They, oh, they yeah. go into an echo chamber only, essentially. Oh, just trying to go for the checkpoint. It's about to happen. Yeah. Oof. Sorry. It's all right. Um, the uh, uh, that's what I don't like about certain. I don't have any like. I don't listen to too many journalism things. Yeah, Giant Bomb's about the only one I listen to. Was that what you were listening to earlier? Last night? No, no, no. Earlier when you were making your coffee. Oh or no. Tea or something. He's like a graphic designer on YouTube. Oh. Kind of sounds like uh, Ron Swanson a little bit. Like a younger Ron Swanson. I'll have to look up his name and say in the next video. Yeah. I've only checked out two videos, but I liked it. He went over the designs of the S Nintendo controllers and what was good and what mm -hmm. was bad. Um, and he also went over how he's really annoyed by the fact that every logo nowadays is a simplistic like graphic design one where it's like, hey, it's plain sans serif font. He's and, annoyed by that? Well, he's annoyed because, like, you look at old logos back in the day and how much work went into them. Like, yeah. Look at, like, the Chrono Trigger one or the original Doom logo, and now the new Doom logo is just the same one but all white, and it just doesn't have that much pizzazz to it anymore. There's a certain aspect to it now, though, that like, they're more modern. Did you? Where am I going? Yeah, and, I mean... There's more modern, like, uh, I think the times are a lot different where you can't have those same logos in a way. You know? I, I agree. Like I don't. I didn't completely agree with all of his opinion. Yeah. But I, he, the God point, the points he was coming from as a graphic designer, I could understand why he's like, man, this is not bad. Like the new Super Mario Brothers logo. Yeah. He would talk about why is super off centered and why do they just tack on this tacky new like sticker you'd find at a department store. God damn. The oh, I see what these walls are doing now. They're slowly going up. Mm -hmm. They're not just keeping their current positions. I'm like, wait, I'm above it. How am I still getting hit? Yeah. Uh, I see what they're doing now. If you stay further away from them, they start. I just subscribed to him. I want to. Right, I'm gonna find, find where his name is really quick. Yeah. Uh, I get it. I like I like the more simplistic logos now because they Jacob. could be they could be more iconic. Yeah, Andy Jacobs. He's got like 41k subscribers. You guys should go check him out. He's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, I, the two videos I've watched, I've liked his opinion. Uh huh. Um, and I tend to like the stuff that's more, more focused and less like floggy. Um, hmm. Okay. I I only if that's the same one I was referring to, like you were listening to where you're yeah, in the kitchen right before we kitchen. started recording. Um, the uh, he sounded kind of like a young Ron Swanson a little bit. Huh. I was like, oh shit! Like, so my my thing here is just like dash back and forth between them to the beat, beat, beat. <laughs> Essentially, to like keep dodging them, because uh, otherwise it's like, oh man, these are kind of hard to dodge. Um, I, I'll have to check them out. And Indy Jacob. Indy Jacob, yeah. It sounds sounds cool. He's a graphic designer. Like I watched this one thing on the logos. Like he got annoyed with Destiny. He's like, there's this we. It's like, ooh, sans serif font and a weird looking vagina at the bottom. <laughs> what? I can't think of what the what the, the Destiny, Destiny logo, logo looks is. like. It's like that weird U shape with something in the middle. And then when he was, as soon as he said vagina, I'm like, it does. U shape. It does look like a vagina, doesn't it? Oof. Um. Is it the? I mean, I don't know. I haven't played Destiny since Destiny One, and even then, I didn't play much of it. Um, isn't that like called the the orbital or the? Did you ever play Destiny? Uh, no. My I guess I would be talking with Mike about that. Yeah. Um, the I, the it's like a the big moon thing in the center where everyone gets their power from or some shit. Yeah, like that. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Yeah, I forget. But what I think his just bummer was like maybe it's like the the over reliance. Like you look at all the logos, they're just like super simplified to the point where like. It feels like they don't put any effort anymore into the really? logos. I feel like I feel like 
I feel like I've heard the opposite. Um, yeah. But I'm not a graphic designer, so I'm not entirely. I mean, it's a, it's also just like a difference of opinion. Like, yeah. do you like the more? I kind of like the modernized logos in some ways. Uh -huh. um, I do think there's a certain place for fuck the more complicated logos. Uh -huh. But like for this game, I thought this had a good logo. God damn it. Um, it is very simplified, and it needs to be essentially for how this game plays. Yeah, and for a geometric game. Mm -hmm. Oof, oof, oof. I think you just oof. meant so much the over reliance on like, hey, it's a white font with simple block font. Like so many games do that now. Mm -hmm. It just wishes there was more diversity. Like you look at pretty much every EA game, it's like. But I think there's a lot more companies nowadays too, so it can be easy to get lost into the. Into the like, I would say like a really great logo, logo is design. like you look at the Hollow Knight one or Shovel Knight. Like those are Oof. great examples. Of, there you go, very good, man. Of good logo Oof. design. <laughs> just, just, just don't get me. Don't get me. There you go. Now you can go. Uh, oh. Hollow Knight's Hollow Knight's pretty good. I, I mean, I I really like logos. They, I think they all look great. They all have different aspects. I like logos that convey. Things. Yeah, that's what that was more so what he was getting at. Like you look at the yeah. Battlefield logo, it doesn't really convey anything. Like Battlefield Five. I mean, uh, how would you how would you design like a Battlefield logo though, other I don't than the know. title and like maybe like an explosion I, or a I gun think that or would, a tank or a that jet? That would be really hard. Like you don't want to do too much like yeah. symbolism. I, I would say uh, a Battlefield logo couldn't be simplistic. It has yeah. to look like one he went know. over was like the Tomb Raider one where it's just like block font and it's just black and red. Like he's like they're not bad. It's just like he wishes there was more mm -hmm. to them. More that really like spoke um I get you. what the okay. game is about and less like cuz you look at like Tomb Raider, Uncharted, all those games like they're all the same style whereas back in the day Design logos were so different for every game. Like, there was personality in every single one, and it feels like a lot of personality has been sucked out of the logo design that if you saw it, you'd be like, I don't know what this is about. I don't hmm. know what this game even conveys. Like, okay, it's uncharted. It, it's just white font. Like, what what does that mean? If you don't have the rest of the game to be there in the background, yeah. um, you don't know anything about it. How would you do Uncharted? Like put treasure or something? Or maybe like a map? I honestly don't know. Or... I think Uncharted... I think Uncharted I, I didn't, logo you, is... You know, I hadn't played the whole fucking game. <laughs> yeah. Like Assassin's Creed has a good stylistic logo because it uses simple font, but it's like very italicized. And yeah. it's got the logo in the background. Like just enough to where it's like, hey, one logo you point out which was garbage, which even though I love the franchise, I agree. Uh, Kingdom Hearts. Mm -hmm. 358, 2 over... No, it was the... Oh, that fucking title It was, was the just prologue. Hot. Garbage? It was like, it was like prologue 2.8 is like, why are there like four different strokes and eight different gradients going on in this one logo? What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> what the fuck are you guys smoking oof, over there? Oof, oof. And I looked and was like, yeah, that, that logo's pretty bad. He's like, man, you look at Kingdom Hearts 1 and Kingdom Hearts 2, Andy Jacob goes, those designs are beautiful. They're great. <laughs> and then you look at the hot garbage they started producing. It's like, why? Why, why, why would you do this? <laughs> But yeah, I can't think of what the logos look like right now, but I, cause I don't, I didn't like recognize <clears throat> them or anything. But I, mean, uh, yeah, been... I know what you're talking about when it just looks so busy. It's like, all right, I mean, I guess they're that is symbolic of how fucking convoluted the game is. Something that's like the game story is. Like you think of like the messenger, like it's uh -huh. that blue slanted font. Like that tells you kind of a lot about the game's character mm -hmm. in a lot of ways that. If you just did the messenger in white font, you would. I think that was more so what he was getting at. Is uh -huh. he wished there was more, there was more style to it? Because like Hollow Knight's logo, I know it's Hollow Knight, and I kind of get a feel. I mean, for I kind of feel like that's what it's going on with Uncharted too, though. I think isn't that why Uncharted's, Uncharted's kind yeah. of iconic? Because like that's why you only need the white logo. Yeah, I would say Uncharted's not the like. Maybe for the first one, yeah, you definitely need yeah. to. But like, why Uncharted three or well, four Uncharted one had seven a, or a 20, bit more 22? unique logo. I think the first one did, but then they just more and more of the new like AAA games have seemed to have gotten away from those unique logos. Like Breath of the Wild's got a great logo. I mean, mm -hmm. there's still great video game logos, but a lot of like a lot of games seem to come out nowadays where it's like, hey, it's Serious Sam, and what's Serious Sam's logo? Now I don't know what Serious Sam's logo is, but <laughs> it, you just wanted to use your name. I fucking know this song. Is this Chipsel? I I don't know. It's oh, it's Kubi. 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 I know this song. I have it on my Spotify. It's pronounced Kabai. Kabai. Maybe Damn. It is. I figured it was like QB, like as in the Naruto Fox thing. What? So I don't know what that is. Cube. It's spelled differently. Like the QB Fox is um what 
lives inside of Naruto. No relation to Toby Fox? No, no relation. <laughs> Best joke ever. <laughs> Toby Fox. Oh, uh, not Toby Fox. He's not a joke. He makes good stuff, despite me not caring for his games and I have to. Well, I mean, me. I think there's, I think there's a difference. Like some people will think, oh, you just hate his stuff. It's like, no, it's just I no, know. It's, I think his stuff is great. I know quality. it's not for me. It's, it's kind of like. Super Meat Boy and The End Is Nigh, I think those are really well done games, I just know they're not for me. Yeah. Hotline Miami is not for me because I don't like that level of difficulty yeah. in my games. I know, I know that, that type it's of a difficulty. point of contention. People yeah. think, some people think I don't, I don't really like, don't like Toby Fox because I'm vastly against playing Undertale and uh, uh, Deltarune on the channel because we already yeah. played Undertale and I didn't care for it. Then we played it on the channel because you wanted to play it, so I'm like, okay, that's that's fine, we can do that. Uh, but and then I, when I Deltarune it. came out, a lot of people were, well, you guys gonna cover it? I'm like, it's already been a week. Like we, yeah, we already missed our missed our shot. Well, like some another... people were like, oh, you know, like Toby Fox. I'm like, no, he's he's amazing. He makes great stuff. Yeah, like he some people, people love that. him. Like people see that as facetious, <laughs> but like I, I pronounced that wrong. But uh, anyways, like for instance, you and Jen really love Critical Role. I couldn't care less, and yet I like all the voice actors in it, and I think it's yeah. great that that exists. But I would never watch it. Just like you would never listen to Giant Bomb. Yeah, like it's just, it's just not for me. Nothing against yeah. any of them. You're right. For sure, it's like I Find think it's too zone. many. There you go. Too many people just look at it, it's like, oh, you don't like some streamers, hate it. it's like. Well, yeah, I think it's the like the blind the blind fanism, much yeah. like the echo chamber thing I was mentioning earlier. Either this episode or last episode, maybe this one. Uh, I was just like, I don't like. Wow. We can all agree though, Twilight's terrible. <laughs> I just, I just don't like blind fanaticism. It's yeah. like, no, have a viable opinion already, guys. Just because somebody's like, oh, I like them, you have to agree with everything that they say. Like the do. new she that came out, like there's a lot of people that love it. I look at them like, eh. I'm getting real sick of their advertisements on my YouTube. Every four videos, it's an advertisement for she -Ra. I'm like, okay, that's, I just can I get something else, please? I bet it's probably fine. I haven't watched it, but I just don't like the character designs. I think they're kind of bland and boring. Um, oh, got it. Like, they just, they don't really speak to me. So I'm like, eh, I'm, I'll, I'll go watch Voltron instead. Like, that's more my thing. But that's awesome. Like, the fact that she exists, cool. I love it that there's a show that continues to push gender norms and, you know, mm -hmm. diversifies the playing field for animation. Let's, uh, let's come back next time. Because I want to, this is only two hours. I want to try and, you know, let it be yeah. the whole week so every, the couchlings get what they what they wanted. Um, but we'll come back next time, guys. See you tomorrow. Beep bop boop. Fight a weird pirate gumball. <laughs> I think it's like a pirate cup or a pirate boat, maybe. Maybe we hop inside and then we like go down this river like a, to get to I, other areas. I, maybe it is a boat. It looks like a dude with an eye patch. It, I mean, you're right, it does. But I was like, kind of looks like with all the water around here, it's kind of like a boat we'd hop in and like drive Probably, around or something. Yeah. I'm, I'm not entirely sure. <laughs>